<sighs> Grizzle! What do you want? <gasps> Mr. Beaks! <laughs> I've looked everywhere for you! Where did you find him? Well, you were so upset at losing your friend that I built you a new Mr. Beaks. <gasps> You did that for me? <laughs> uh-huh. Well, I'm sorry, but this won't do. Uh, the real Mr. Beaks has a gravy stain on his left wing. Well, uh, I guess we could add a stain. And this bolt is... it's too big! This is just a bad copy. Ah! Big... a bad copy? You tried to trick me to keep me from finding the real Mr. Beaks. No, Grumpy was just trying to help. And he worked really hard on it, too. How would you feel if you... <laughs> oh, I guess he feels growly. Well, bumbling beacoids. What am I gonna do with this? I'll take Mr. Beaks. <laughs> I think he's adorable. Would you like to meet all my friends? I thought you would. I was right. This is the screwiest day Caroline's ever seen. <laughs> this is all that grouchy bear's doing. He's trying to keep me from finding the real Mr. Beaks. Enough! All these phony Mr. Beekses aren't fooling me! I know the real Mr. Beaks is... is... Hmm. Hmm. This one! Your little plan didn't fool me. There wasn't any plan, Grizzle. We just wanted to help you. The real Mr. Beaks isn't here. The one you're holding is fake, too. <laughs> <laughs> You'd like me to believe that, wouldn't you? Come on, Mr. Beaks. Let's go home. Well, now that we all have our own Mr. Beaks, I can see why Grizzle missed him so much. Yeah, it lets us know how he felt and sort of puts us in Grizzle's place. Oh, yeah. Not again. This is no fun. Hmm. Grumpy can't fix anything, Share can't share, and Funshine has lost his fun. Once everyone's awake, I'll help my friends find ways to manage their dreams. These are not just frustrating dreams, they're frustration dreams. Frustration? Even though you feel frustrated, everything will be fine when you wake up. Okay, <laughs> right. Remember, your dreams are not real and can't hurt you. That's a sound I love to hear. A good night to everyone. Bah, they're sleeping. Those annoying Care Bears are happily dreaming. You are a useless piece of junk. No, no, no not, not you, Mr. Beaks. I'm talking to my dream scheme machine. It was supposed to control the Care Bears' dreams, but it's not. What do you mean I'm low? Of course I'm low. I'm mean, too. Oh, oh, the dream ski machine is set on low. Mmm, that explains it. <laughs> then we'll just crank this baby up to high and give those sleeping furballs something to really dream about. <laughs> Another night done. Hmm, this is strange. Where is everyone? It's awake time, and I'm the only one awake. I better find out what's going on. I fall asleep and count to three. 
Then off to dreamland I will be. One, two, three. Land? What's going on? Bedtime? Hey guys, what happened to Dreamland? Uh, Grizzle's using some kind of slumber bumble bad dream machine. He's taking over Dreamland. <gasps> oh no! The only way to save the day, uh, night, is for you to wake up, go to Grizzle's lair, and destroy the machine. Uh, I don't know. You're the only Care Bear who can travel in and out of Dreamland. Uh, I know, but... You can be our knight in shiny armor. Me too, Tenderheart. Pink! Oh. Excuse me, but we agreed on pink. Oh, no, 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 no. You're mistaken. We agreed on blue. No, pink. Blue. Pink! Blue. Ah! Oh, look! Here comes Trueheart. She'll help us decide what color to paint the library. Good idea. Hey, hey Trueheart! True Hello? Yoo-hoo! Up here! Oh, hi, Harmony! Morning, Trueheart! trip. <laughs> that was a super Bumble Stumble mega fall. <laughs> and the funniest thing we've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I guess it was kind of funny. Huh? Mm. <laughs> True Heart was hilarious. She was tripping, stumbling, and rolling all over Care Square. <laughs> <laughs> she went right through the food court, knocking over everything. <laughs> But did you hear? Hear what? Well, True Heart did the most surprising thing. She had a super mega funny fall. She tripped and rolled all over Carolot, bumping and stumbling into everything. <laughs> she was so clumsy that everyone's now calling her Stumble Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Stumble Bear? <laughs> oh, all I did was trip. I didn't mean to. It was just an accident. Hiya, Stumbles! <laughs> I mean, True Heart. <laughs> Whoa! Careful there! You don't want to bump into anything. You might end up in the fountain again. <laughs> Hi, Stumbles. Taking any good... trips lately? <laughs> what do you want? What is that wonderful, sweet smell? It's gotta be Bumbleberry Jam, only better. Oh, um... It's, uh, uh, my socks. Yeah, I, I'm, uh, washing my socks. Well, <laughs> gotta go rinse. Oh. Wait a minute. Care Bears don't wear socks. He's up to something. Oh, I can't tell anyone about the special bush. If I do, it'll get picked clean and there won't be any berries left. Scare! 
So this is your secret. No, these are just ordinary bumbleberries. Tell me the truth. Oh, all right, you got me. Why did you lie to me, Grumpy? You know that's wrong. I know. Lying's wrong, but... But if everyone finds out about this bush, then there won't be any berries left. But shouldn't we share them? Oh, we will, we will. <laughs> Just as soon as we've picked enough berries for the two of us. I don't know. I can't lie. Well, it won't be lying. It'll be a secret. Yeah. And we'll tell everyone as soon as we picked our berries. Hmm. A secret, huh? Yep. Our secret. Oh. All right. Hi, Cheer. <laughs> what were you doing behind that big shrub? Oh, I was just taking a shortcut back to Square Care. I mean, Care Square. Really? And what's that behind your back? Nothing. <laughs> um, nothing you'd be interested in. And by interested, I mean nothing that you want to eat. Oh, I can't lie! These are the best bumbleberries ever! From the oldest bush in Caroline, and it's hidden behind that shrub! Doesn't telling the truth make you feel better? Cheer! Oh, oh, I need some real help. Oh, you can't believe how rude I am. I, I mean, they were. I, I mean, I mean. Oh. Whoa! Slow down, Grumpy. What happened? Well, um, I made copies of myself, but they didn't listen to anything I said, and they wouldn't even let me help. That sounds familiar. Oh. Was I really that bad? <laughs> you were worse. But we figured you didn't mean it. <laughs> Sorry about that. I guess you probably never want to help me again, huh? Well, you did hurt my feelings earlier, and that made me angry. But I can understand how it must feel to be kicked out of your own workshop. Of course I'll help you. We're still friends. Good, because I need to get back into my garage. We'll have to sneak up on those grumpy copies, and I know the way in. Let's go. Uh, Grumpy, I think we'll be able to help you better if you give each of us something to do. Uh, no. Okay. Cheer, we need some ropes to climb down into the workshop. And we'll need tools to get the secret door open. Can you find some, Cher? Uh-huh. Oh, 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 what about me? What about me? Uh, you could be in charge of making sure our plan is, uh... Surprise! Ooh, my favorite! Yep, <laughs> let's get to work. It worked! Uh, thank you, Funshine. Great, now we'll never finish this machine. My way is faster. Well, my way is better. Oh, yeah, well, my way is faster and better. Your way is slower the and dumber. Right, oh, yeah, we're saying you. Way more I see. Your way. You know what? What I am done. We are... Surprise! Ah! Uh, that was... Uh, different than I planned, surprise. <laughs> but good. Great. Now we'll never finish this machine. I can't finish anything working with you. Um, I don't think I'm gonna need your help anymore. Thank goodness. Have you ever tried to work with this guy? Me? But you were the one doing everything wrong. Oh, I was doing things the grumpy way. <sighs> Even I was starting to get sick of myself. Well, I guess I owe you an apology. You were all doing me a favor out of friendship, and I wasn't being too friendly about it. I would like to sign up for your talent show. I am Monsieur Razzle Dazzle. Hey, isn't that 
my partner, Beaky Pierre, and I will perform an astounding act while riding a unicycle and spinning plates. Ooh, that sounds dangerous. Oh, poo poo, not to worry. There will be a net over the audience in case I fall. Okie dokie, Mr. Dazzle. We'll see you tonight. You would find our act very <laughs> captivating. <laughs> That's what the net's for, to capture all you cabbers! You're going to let Grizzle perform in the talent show? Sure, maybe his act is good. Besides, we did say that anyone can participate. Well, okay. Hey, did you figure out what your act's going to be? Me? Oh, ah, uh, uh, I don't know. I... Cheer, I've lost one of my songbirds. Cheer, uh, I was practicing my gymnastics routine and I landed on this. <gasps> Mr. Smarty Bridges! Cheer, I can't remember. Is my dance left, right, spin, left? Help! No time to worry about me now. We have a show to do. Oopsie, practice away from everybody else. Grumpy, this should keep Mr. Smarty Bridges together. Level up, your dance is right, left, right, spin! Harmony, we've got a songbird to find. Oh, look, everyone's here! <laughs> <laughs> Tonight's best performance are our judges! And here's tonight's first talent, Love A Lot! <laughs> I loved it! It was perfect! Perfect? Her heart balloons got stuck! I thought it was terrible! <gasps> You're right, it wasn't perfect. Yeah. But it wasn't terrible either. There was a problem, but Lovelot finished the dance, and I think it was even better. Right? Okay, I guess so. <laughs> good plans. Yeah, no, I was, uh, sleepwalking. I got lost and ended up here. If you were sleeping, how come you're not wearing your PJs? Or your robo-suit. <clears throat> what? I can't tell them my own robot kicked me out. It's too embarrassing. <clears throat> Probably deserved it. He looks really sad. <laughs> 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 It's about time. Now you'll do things my way. Okay, Sun Bear. Since I don't have my robo suit, I'm cold, so heat things up pronto. Let's see, Bear. Give me a sandwich. Grouchy, you're the most normal one here. You'll be my right hand, Bear. Now move it, Fireballs. Somebody needs a Care Bear stare. A what, Bear? What? What did you do to me? We were trying to make you feel better. Maybe this will help, too. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you is usually nice. Uh... <laughs> thank? No, oh, what a bunch of hooey! Grizzle almost said thank you. Uh, he'd never do that. Never underestimate the power of caring. Maybe we can do more to help Grizzle feel welcome. More at home. Well... Grizzle did lose his robo suit. Maybe we can build him a new one. Yeah, a Care Bear version. In the meantime, we'll send a message to the robot. If we ask nicely, maybe it'll think about letting him go home. Sure <laughs> thing, Wingnut. You can deliver the message. Oops. 
The Care Bears want me to let Grizzle return. They do care about everything, don't they? Even a bear who does not like them. No, Grizzle may not return. Oh, I can't believe that smarty pants robot Big Brain is putting my plan into action. Well, I'm stuck here in dumb care too much. I am not jealous, Mr. Beaks. It's called being annoyed and irritated. Hi, Grizzle. <laughs> I'm worried. They're so interested in the flowers, they're ignoring all the other important things Care Bears are supposed to do. It's as if all anyone can think about lately is flowers, flowers, flowers. Whoa! Oopsie! Be careful! That's too many flowers! Phew! That was close! didn't make us happy at all. They just made us fight over how we looked. And kept us from doing the things we like to do, like play together. That's right. We were all so worried about what we looked like on the outside, it made us act ugly on the inside. It's okay to feel good about how you look, but we took it too far and cared way too much about our looks. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause so many problems by sharing the dilly daisies. Howdy, everyone! So, did you love the Dilly Daisies, did you? We really wanted you to love them. Yeah, we loved them. Yeah, maybe a little too much. See, Bumpity, I knew our rain would work. We helped the Care Bears fall in love with the flowers. What rain? A special rain we made to make the lilies look extra beautiful. It made you really, really love them. But it also made us selfish about the way we look. Right. It made us vain. Gosh, we're sorry. We didn't mean to cause trouble. It's okay. We know you were only trying to help. Besides, we should have known better and not let the flowers change us like that. Hey, congratulations! We can't wait to hear your big debut! Why are you just talking to Cheer? Don't the rest of us count? Uh, I was talking to all of you. Tell her, Cheer. I'm not speaking to Harmony. Cher, tell Harmony the Tender Heart was talking to all of us. It's not all about her, you know. Cher, tell them that it's all about the Love A Lot and True Heart show. Aren't you just one band? We, we are! are. I have to get the rest of the equipment. And when I come back, we're gonna talk this out together. <laughs> My plan to break up the band has worked. I knew they'd believe all those little old lies I made up. <laughs> Grizzle, it's been you all along disguised as Busybody Bear. <gasps> I don't know what you're talking about. But tell her, Mr. Beaks. What do you mean you don't know me? You. Traitor! You made up all that gossip! 
<laughs> That's right. I did it to break up the band. Well, what you did was bad and wrong, and a lot of feelings got hurt. Oh, well, too bad. You're coming with me. Oh, hey, watch that. Listen up, everyone. You've all been fooled. <laughs> Wow, without the wig, Busy Buddy Bear looks just like Grizzle. That's because she is Grizzle. He was trying to break up the band by spreading mean gossip. And because you all listened to him, it worked. Look at the mess you made. Don't blame it all on me. He's right. <gasps> I am? You all listen to him. It takes two to spread silly, harmful gossip. You guys really let me down. I respected that you all were better singers and musicians than me, and that's why I was happy to be part of the band, even if I couldn't be on stage. But now, no one's happy. Cher, you couldn't be more right. Thanks for reminding us of what's important. Good friends, good music, and being a team. After all, we, we stick together! And that means all of us! Oh. This sickening display of friendship hurts. Are you sure it's not just the high heels you're wearing? <laughs> well, that too. Um, can I have my wig back, please? Oops. You haven't seen the last of Grizzle. Oops. I'll be back. What? Where? How? Hey! Oh, hey! <laughs> Hey, who wants a piggyback? Whoa, Tenderheart, those are some cool boots. They're perfect for daring moves. Then I dare you to jump over that hedge into Carolot Park. You're on. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> These bouncy boots are the best ever. All right, now I dare you to leap over that rainbow. Well, that's pretty high. You're on. Thanks, Cheer. Oh, that was close. Too close. You could have hurt yourselves. We were just having a little fun. You want to join us? We're taking dares. No way. Dares are a good way to turn a little fun into big trouble. You better be careful. Oh, we will. Hmm, maybe we should take off Grumpy's boots and come up with some different dares. Fine by me. I can handle any dare you throw at me. What do you have in mind? Hmm. Well, I dare you to secretly give someone a gift of bumbleberries. <laughs> bumbleberries? You call that daring? Yep, if the bear you're giving them to is Grizzle. You dare me to give Grizzle a basket of bumbleberries? You aren't afraid, are you? No. I'm not afraid. It's just, what if Grizzle doesn't like bumbleberries? Everyone loves bumbleberries. Besides, you're the one who said you could handle any dare I gave you. Huh. Okay, it's just a little dare. I've done scary things before and it's been okay. This is no different. Once it's done, I'll feel relieved. Is it my turn yet? Oh, no, that's right. It's still your turn, Mr. Beaks. Mm. Mm. I knew we should have played tic-tac-toe. Huh? Who dares disturb me on game day? Well, well what's this? Bumbleberries? Who would have sent me bumbleberries? ha! <laughs> I just need a way to get it into the center of Carolot. <laughs> Oopsie, can you hand me that wrench? You got it, Grumpy. 
He was trying to help. Don't mind Grumpy Oopsie. I know it wasn't your fault. Well, it kind of was my fault. Finally, Oopsie gets something right. <laughs> you know what we need? Something that Oopsie can do without, well, making an Oopsie. Well, the heart fence could use a paint job. That's perfect. Oopsie, we have an important job for you. Hmm? No, 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 Mr. Beaks. Not a robot. I need a Care Bear that I can trick into doing this for me. <sighs> this isn't an important job. I think Cheer and Funshine just wanted me out of Grumpy's way. Hello. I'm looking for an important bear for an important job. Do you know where I can find one? Grizzle? What do you want? Every time you show up, there's trouble. <gasps> Not this time. I want to make up for all I've done with a special gift for all the Care Bears in Carolot. A gift? What kind of gift? It's a gris... Uh, invention that will make all of Carolot uh, smell like everyone's favorite flower. A Grizz invention? How do I know that you're not gonna trick me? I understand your concern. Uh, tell you what, I'll let you bring my present to Carolot. That way, you can be sure there's no tricks. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Well, maybe a more important bear would like to help me. Maybe Grouchy Bear or what's his name? Dumbshine? Well, um, I could go get a cloud car and come help you. I can finish painting when I get back. <laughs> Is this your Grizz invention? Huh? It must be. I smell honeysuckle. You do? I mean, yes! This is my gift to Carolot. Wait a minute. That's the paint I smell. Here, see? Oopsie. <laughs> oh, sure. Once I get ahead on my work. Will you have enough for both of us? I think so. Just enough for you two and the others that I've invited. We can all share. What are Cher and Oopsie doing with that big root? Cher's making her yummy floaty root bear floats. And she said she'd share with me in harmony. Oh, so I can't have a float? That's disappointing. Well, one more can't make that big a difference. You should come, too. I'm sure Cher won't mind. Now that we've got all the decorations up, we can get started making the floats. back together. Are we too late for floats? Not at all. Have mine. I'll make more for everyone. 
Thanks. <laughs> Floating is so much fun. <laughs> Floating is the best. <laughs> Whoa! Floating is the best at uh, getting me caught in the trees. <laughs> Just watch where you're going, like me. <laughs> oh, bubbling bubble bricks, who put this chimney here? Hi, Cher. I'd love a float, too. I don't remember inviting love a lot. Oh, well. I can make one more. I just want to hang out with you all day. As long as I can stay awake. <laughs> oh, good one. Oopsie, you're the best, most fun Care Bear ever. Oh, gee, thanks. You should have an Ice Cube belly badge. <laughs> Why? Because you're the coolest bear in Carolot. Aw, that's ice. Get it? Ice? Sounds like nice, and it's an ice cube? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that funny, was it? <laughs> we love you so much! <laughs> we we want to be with you all the time! Uh, all the time? <laughs> I got something I gotta do. Take us with you! <laughs> we love you! Beep boop! <laughs> Beep boop! Are they gone? <laughs> you were right. This wasn't a good idea. I know, I wanted everyone to like me. But this doesn't feel right. It's only because of some dumb perfume. This didn't make me feel any better. But you still like me, right? <coughs> Just like how I like Grumpy, even when he's being grumpy. <gasps> I forgot about Grumpy. He's so grumpy, there's no way he'll like me. Come on! Hiya, Grumpy. What you working on? Whoa! <coughs> <Ooh. coughs> <coughs> Oopsie. Bimbling butterbugs! I was working on a rainbow-powered windmill when you... So you're mad at me? <sighs> of course not, Oopsie. I love you. Oh. We all love you! <laughs> you... You washed off the perfume. <laughs> See? What's going on? Um, I felt sad that I kept disappointing everyone with my oopsies. So I was using a bottle of special love perfume that I found to make you like me again. Hmm. I bet this was something Grizzle cooked up. We love you, oopsie. Oopsies and all. The jelly was an accident. We forgive you. Right? Well, I'm still grumpy about it. Really? That's just what I wanted to hear. I know you feel disappointed, but it's just for two hours. Then I'll take my turn watching the flowers. Mm, my rainbow jumps are important, too. Cher always has plenty of flowers. Blue ones, pink ones, red ones. <gasps> red! That's it! Maybe if I made the outer ring of my rainbow jump red, it would work better. But I'm supposed to watch Cher's garden. Um, I will be gone long. Nothing's gonna happen. I'm sure the red ring is the answer. Rainbow, take me to the library. <laughs> Aren't you watching Cher's garden? Well, you see, I was... Uh, uh. You left to work on your rainbow jumps, didn't you? Um, uh, maybe just for a moment. <laughs> <gasps> my flowers! See? It's all okay! My garden! <gasps> oh, no, Cher! Your flowers! They're ruined! I'm... I'm so sorry. And I'm disappointed with you. Cheer, 
You agreed to help us look after Cher's garden. He really let us down. But I didn't mean to. <laughs> We got one! One what? <laughs> one of those things that's destroying all the plants! Yep, right here! Ew! It's a gobble bug! What's a wobble bug? No, gobble bug! They're hungry little bugs that eat plants! And this little chomper's a scout, which means there's a big swarm of gobble bugs heading this way! It could eat all the plants in Carolot, including. <gasps> the gathering tree! We can't let the gathering tree get eaten. Then we'll just have to hide it. It's a little big for hiding. If you use your belly badge to make some fog and we cover it, then... Then those gobble bugs won't see it. Well, maybe we could use our leaf blowers to blow the bugs back, too. Great idea, Oopsie. Uh, Funshine, um, what should I do? Well, Cheer, you really let us down when you were supposed to watch Cher's garden. I know. I won't do it again. <sighs> For now, why don't you let us handle this? I see. I guess I should have paid more attention to my guard duty. Cher just lost a few flowers. She can grow more. My <gasps> <gasps> rainbow jump! It's been chewed up by gobble bugs! Perfect! Rainshine Meadows. It's the merriest place in Carolot. It's a beautiful meadow where the sparkly starfish play. Where the upsy daisies bob. And where the wild bumbleberry bushes bloom. That sounds great! I'll have all the room I need to practice there. <laughs> I love that I could help, but shh, this is a library. Oh, right. Just follow the old trail through Waterfall Cloud and that'll take you there. Why is everything so broken and dark here? And what's that smell? This is Rainshine Meadows? It smells like the inside of Grumpy's oil barrel. I had no idea a sad place like this could be in Carolot. Well, at least there's lots of space. I guess I'll try to practice anyway. Everything's muddy and yucky here. Aw, poor little thing. <sighs> this isn't right. Someone should do something. And I'm gonna be the one to do it. For us. Oh no. Last time you said I got a project. Remember what happened? Mm. Uh. Well, I just thought everyone would like having fresh chocolate milk. Funshine, those cows ate all the flowers in Carolot. Well, my new project has to do with flowers and sparkly starfish and upsy daisies. It's a place called Rainshine Meadows, and it's in need of our care. Who'd like to help me clean it up? <laughs> Thanks, Wingnut. I've heard about Rainshine Meadows. It used to be beautiful, but then a bad storm destroyed it. That's right. I I've heard it's too big a job to clean up. Too big? Not a chance. Wingnut and I will be able to do it. It might be good to take a break. <laughs> Fine. If you won't play with me, then I'll find other bears who will.
Remember? Yeah, I'm so excited I can't stop smiling. Huh, that's a smile. I smile on the inside. Ready to go? I'm in the middle of a game. I can't go. It won't be as much fun without you. I need to win a ribbon. I want everyone to like me. Whoa! But we do like you. Not the way you like cheer or tender heart after they won. We were just happy for our friends. It didn't mean we liked them any better. Really? I guess I was feeling left out. I wanted to win too. It's natural to feel that way, but not everybody can win. So what? It's not the end of the world. And it's not worth practicing so much that you miss sleep or miss out on other things that you enjoy. Like going to woo world? Exactly. That's too bad, because you just won a ribbon. For what? <clears throat> Best Thunderbolt Rider ever. Aw, <laughs> 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 oh, they're going on a picnic. I love picnics. I bet they'll play games and tell jokes and do all kinds of fun things while I'm stuck in here. Unless I wasn't stuck in here. This looks so yummy! Ah! <laughs> Sunshine, I thought Cheer said you had to stay in bed. That's just so I don't float away. But don't worry, I've got these bricks to keep me safe. Even if I... I don't go anywhere. Don't worry, I'm... You up. <laughs> Thanks, Oopsie. I'm sure I'll be better in no time. <laughs> okay, let's let Bunshine get some rest. Bouncy Cloud Kickball? Yeah, and it's the biggest game ever. Almost every bear in Carolot's playing. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. It's gonna be amazing. Thanks for the ball. I'm gonna feel so disappointed if I can't play in the game. I know I'm supposed to rest, but everyone's gonna be there. It couldn't hurt if I just played one game. Could it? But if Cheer or Grumpy see me, they'll put me back in bed. Unless... <laughs> <laughs> uh, mind if I play? Who's that? 
What a surprise! I don't think we've ever seen you before. Oh, that's... <clears throat> that's because I'm from, uh, uh, Big Smile Valley. We could always use another player. What did you say your name was? Um, <clears throat> uh, Smiley Bear. Oh, good to... <clears throat> Oh, meet you. Huh? Hey, can I have your attention, please? As you all know, the Starshine Parade is tomorrow. So that means today's the day when we pick who will make the Starshine Star. The Starshine Star is the centerpiece of the big float. It's an honor to get picked to make it. Whoa. This is going to be the best Starshine Parade ever. It's always good cheer, because you check in on everyone and make sure everything goes just right. I'd like to make sure it's all perfect. And this year's star maker is... <gasps> it's Cheer Bear! Yeah! <laughs> I promise to make the best Starshine star ever! Yeah! Now we each get to do our part and share in the fun. Oh, I'll get to the flowers! Hmm, I suppose I'll build the float, <laughs> like I do every year. But, Grumpy, I thought you liked building the floats. Well, I guess I do. <laughs> it's hard to be grumpy during the Starshine Parade. I'll organize the games. So, what can we do? <laughs> well, uh, let me think. It never hurts to do a little cleanup before the big day. Then Wingnut and I volunteer to make sure Carolot sparkles and shines for tomorrow. Oopsie. to get done before the parade tomorrow. This year, you're gonna be too busy to supervise. Yeah, you get to make the Starshine Star. It's an important job. Everyone's counting on you. I'll get right to work. But first, I wanna check in on everyone else to make sure they know what to do. Right, Twinkers? Hi, Harmony. What do you have planned for the Starshine Parade? I want to make special new candy flavors, but so far I've had some trouble. Maybe I can help. Thanks, but I know you have other work to do. I think I can manage. Oh, it won't take long. Here, let me try. What flavor is this? Mmm. That's super sour lemon power citrus pucker. Isn't it great? Yeah, great guy. Oh, she loves it. She's going to tell everyone. I'd better make more. You must have tried Harmony's candy. Yeah, it's sour. When Wingnut tasted it, he lost his main spring. <laughs> Good luck tidying up the square. I have more people to check up on. Wingnut, I don't suppose you would want to take Twinkle for her walk, would you? <sighs> Guess not. Okay, Twinkle. I'll take you. It'll be fun. Oopsie! Come quick! The best ever belly ball game is going on right now and you're missing it! Cool! Let me get my ball! <laughs> ah! Oh no! Twinkle it! Yeah. <sighs> I guess I should stay here and give her a bath. Sorry, Cher. Hey, Oopsie. Want to play some Foursquare? Well, she is sleeping now. I'm sure it'd be okay. I'm there. Twinklet, I've been looking everywhere for you. Uh. I think you have some more work to do before you go anywhere. Oopsie. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. She got away from me. I'll make sure this place gets cleaned up. And don't forget the mess in my garage. And my garden. 
in. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll take responsibility for all that, too. Whoa! Oopsie. I really think you're in over your head. Uh, I guess I didn't know how much attention Twinklet needed. So you'll let Wish take her home to the Star Nursery in Glitter City? No way. Twinklet just needs a place where she can stay out of trouble. I'm gonna build her the perfect Twinklet home. Come on, girl. This might be too much for Oopsie. <laughs> be perfect for Twinkle. It has a stardust slide, long rolly trail tracks, <laughs> and a whirly wheel. <laughs> What's wrong? Don't you like the whirly wheel? Sunshine, what's wrong with her? It's sunny out, but it's nighttime? Now this is surprising. I wonder what's uh, going, going on. on. It's scary, you guys. Well, well, I got a pretty good idea. And it's not a what, it's a who. Careful, Bear! Oh, who's Careful Bear? Funshine, except now he's wearing a towel and calling it a cape and ruining everyone's fun. <laughs> Careful Bear doesn't want anyone to have any accidents at night, so he's making sure it's light out all the time. <sighs> but if it's always daytime, when will there be a bedtime? Yeah. I'd better go have a talk with Careful Bear. Um, maybe you could talk to him in the morning? Right now it's bright as day and we haven't been able to have any fun. So why don't we do something fun now? We could have a picnic. Oh, I love picnics. That's a great idea. <laughs> What's this? The sound of careless laughter? This is a job for Careful Bear. <laughs> what are you doing? Having a picnic, Funshine. Why don't you join us? The name is Careful Bear. And marshmallows? Sure, they're yummy, but do you have any idea how many injuries they caused last year? No. And that's not even counting the ones that were toasted. <sighs> so much for the picnic. Uh, Funshine, can I have a word with you? The name is Careful Bear. The bear I've always known is named Funshine. The kind of bear who always wanted everyone to have fun. What's so great about fun? If it wasn't for me, the old me, pushing everyone to have so much fun, Cher wouldn't have gotten hurt. It wasn't your fault I got hurt. It was just an accident, and sometimes accidents just happen. Hmm. <laughs> Wingnut says, like, when you stubbed your toe. That was an accident, too. Hmm. <laughs> If Careful Bear can't avoid having a little accident, what makes you think you can keep everybody else from having them? Well, you know what I think? I think it's time for Careful Bear to go back to being Funshine Bear again. Yeah! Yeah! I can tell that what I was doing as Careful Bear was starting to get everyone annoyed and upset with me. <laughs> Maybe a little. A little? He took my marshmallow! Sorry about that. <laughs> I'll bring a fresh bag to the next picnic. Yeah! So, anybody up for a game of belly badge tag? Yeah! 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 This little greeting card will let Grumpy know that his friends are thinking of him and lighten up his dark mood. <gasps> mm, Grumpy! I never noticed how dirty, dingy, dark, and depressing this garage is. No wonder Grump's been in a bad mood. No one could be happy here. I am gonna undarken, unclutter, and de-icky oily this gloomy garage. Ew. I hope these new parts are the answer. This project's really been a puzzler. And so many interruptions. <laughs> Don't you 
love it. Aren't these curtains darling? And these throw pillows are to die for. You just gotta be in a better mood. What? What's that smell? Potpourri. It smelled too oily in here. Isn't this better? My garage was just how I liked it. You had no business changing things. I was only trying to help. I don't want your help or anyone else's. Oh, this doesn't even feel like my garage. I never had curtains or pillows or a fancy smelling party tree. Oh, uh, that's potpourri. Well, they both stink. <gasps> hmm, maybe we've been kind of doing things that would cheer us up. Yeah. Not things that would cheer you up, Grumpy. Hmm, I guess Sunshine and Cher are right. The things I like aren't the same as the things you like. We never asked you what you've been working on or why you seemed extra grumpy. Well, I appreciate what you all tried to do, but I haven't been grumpy. At least not more than usual. Hey, what's wrong with Wingnut? That's what I've been working on. He's been sluggish and run down. I tried everything to perk up the little guy, but nothing seems to help. I haven't been grumpy. I've been frustrated. I, I just can't figure it out. What did you do? Well, I installed a special spring for bouncing, some fancy lights, a fun fan for cooling himself, even an MP3 player. I'm sorry I didn't take the time to find out what was really going on with you, but do you think maybe you're doing the same thing with Wingnut? Popping ham cakes. You're right. Wingnut, I'm sorry I got so wrapped up in thinking about what I should do to fix you, I didn't bother to ask. So, so what do you need? What? <laughs> of course, he's low on oil. <laughs> And you know what? I'm not frustrated anymore. Just grumpy as usual. Do you mean grumpy grumpy or grumpy back to normal? No, back to normal. <laughs>